hello guys this show here and welcome back to this channel if you are new here please make sure to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell to receive more content like this in today's tutorial i'm going to show you how to create a stripe account for non-us citizens that is if you are in ghana nigeria liberia anywhere around the world apart from us so now let's get into the video first of all open your browser and search for stripe.com When the site opens, click on sign in and create an account. I'm going to walk you through the account creation process so follow me carefully so you don't miss anything. Once you miss something in it, your account wouldn't be activated. In this process, you don't need to buy anything, you don't need to buy any US phone number, it's totally free. So follow me. So we are going to fill in our email here. So I'm going to use my company email. That is digitaltechnologies at gmail.com. Now here you need to enter your full name, so I'm going to enter my full name. Now here is a tricky part. The country by default is US. But if you continue to use US, you'll be required to use an SSN number, which is not available for most countries. So in this video, we are going to use a country called Estonia. And don't worry, it wouldn't cause any problem. Just follow me gradually. So let's change the country to Estonia. Estonia. Yes. There we have it, Estonia. Now we need to create a password. Now the password needs to fit the requirements. You see, yes, there's an error here. The password doesn't fold the requirement, so your password has to be strong enough to fold the requirement. After creating that password, you can click on create account. Now we are at the home page of our Stripe account, and as you can see at the top right corner, it says what test mode. So right now our account is in test mode we can't use it to receive any payment we can't use it for anything the test mode is for developers who want to use the api for their project so now we need to verify our gmail so you click on open gmail it will automatically open our gmail account as you can see we have a message from stripe telling us to verify our account so open that email when you open the email you click on verify account or verify email when you click on the verify email it takes you back to the home page of your stripe account and you'll see your email has been verified yes now we have verified our email now when you look at the top left corner you see activate account yes click on activate account now we need to fill in this information. Remember when we were creating an account, we changed our country to Estonia. Yes, now we need to provide an Estonian address to continue this process. So you open a new tab and open google.com and search for Estonia address. I'll put all the link in the description below so don't worry. Search for Estonia address. Click on random address in Estonia the first link yes this one you see so many addresses that is located in Estonia so you are going to choose one you are going to choose the first one so you, you copy the street street address copy the street address then go back to your stripe account then paste the street address there but the problem is this address is on Google so it has been used by many people so we need to massage it a little so you can add something something else to the address a number or a street name that you guess and put it there you can also copy the zip code copy the zip code and go back to your stripe account yes and paste that one too yes. 
you are going to do the same thing for the city you copy the city and paste it there yes when you are done the dennis option you don't change anything there don't change anything the next option just leave it like that leave it like that and click continue so the next step is to fill our personal details yes so first of all we need to fill in our legal name make sure it's your legal name the name on your card yes it should be the name on your identity card issued by your government okay so i'm going to enter mine so that you enter your date of birth yes so that you enter your date of birth i'm going to 16th june 1997 yes and here we don't change anything here because we already filled out with Estonian address now you need to add your number you need to add your number now for the number you can change it to the, your country code you can change the country code to your country so i'm going to change it to ghana i'm in ghana so if you are nigeria you will see ng that is what nigeria so i'm going to teach so i'm going to choose gh yes gh then i'll fill in my number two zero two four two three four zero seven and i'll click on continue on the next step is to fill in your business detail and first of all we have VAT number and you can see here we don't have an estonian VAT number so we leave it like that it's even optional so we leave it like that don't type anything there now let's go to the industry you choose the specific service or goods that you, you are selling that your your customers are going to pay for do you get me yes so i'm rendering it services so i'm going to choose digital service you understand so what whatever product or service that you are rendering online you can choose that so i'm going to choose digital service the next one is your business website so if you have a business website you can just copy and paste in your website link but if you don't have it says here you can use your social media uh, you can use your social media links so i'm going to open my instagram account yeah this is my instagram account this is my business instagram account yes and i'll copy the link i'll copy the instagram link and go back to the stripe account and i'll paste it there yes paste. and the next time is to talk about the product description product description you talk a little about the service that you are rendering you get me so i'm going to type the product description about what i do yes you need to type something for the product description about two or three lines yes, some, something very short very very short when you are done you can click on continue all right here we have fulfillment details you see on average how long after paying will your customer typically receive their goods so I would advise that if you are selling online, if you are selling a product online, you can choose within two weeks. Within two weeks. So if you are, you know you are not the one going to ship the product or you are going to ship outside from the from outside the country, you can choose within two weeks. But if you are rendering a service that's instant, you can use within a day or so I'm going to choose within two weeks. Maybe it might take a little longer. So within two weeks. Select that and click on continue. Alright, now you have customer support details. Now you need to fill in your company information that will show on the invoice when the customer makes a payment. So I'm going to put 
I'm going to clear Instagram.com. Yeah, I'm going to clear it. Instagram.com and type distro technologies. Distro technologies. Yes. And the next step is to shorten the descriptor. Shorten the descriptor. So you are going to shorten your company name to something simple, something short. So I'm going to write distro tech. Okay, distro tech. Uh -huh. Now I need to provide a customer support phone number in case there's any issue. A customer can contact you, so you can you leave that like that. If you want to use that number, you can leave it like that. If you want to change it too, you can also change it. Uh -huh. After that, you click on continue. Now we need to provide our bank details and since we cannot use our local bank and we don't have an Estonian bank account, we are going to use Pioneer. We are going to use Pioneer to get a bank account, to get a US bank account so that we can use it to, for the payment, can use to receive payment. Yeah. So open a new tab, yeah, open a new tab and search for Pioneer, Pioneer, yes search for pioneer let's wait for it to load yes and click on signing click on signing at the top left sorry top right then signing if you don't have an account you can create an account it's very very simple to create login now when you log in, now when you log in, you look for the receive tab and click on global payment. Global payment, yes, global payment. And what Pioneer does is that it gives you a US and a UK bank account to receive payment. So we are going to select the US bank account. Okay. Select the US bank account. And you go back to Stripe. You say what? Yes, change it to US, change the currency to USD, country, US, United States, United States, yes. Now, router number. So you go back to Pioneer and you copy the router number. Let's copy the router number and come and paste it. You do the same thing for the account number. You copy the account number and you come and paste it. Yes, copy the account number and paste it. Yes, now you need to paste it one more time to confirm it. Say confirm account number. Okay, once you do that, you click on continue. Now we need to set a two factor authentication. Now this is compulsory. But for some reasons, I try to use the number that I sign up with. The two-factor authentication message keeps delaying. So I had to change the number to a different network carrier before I receive the message. So I'm going to skip this process and come back to it. So let's skip this process. Now here you said automate VAT calculation. We don't have anything to do with VAT since we are not going to pay our VAT to the Estonian government. We don't have anything to do with VAT. You say optional. So go select not now. Yes, not now at the bottom. Not right now. And here to say join ambitious business combat climate change. So that, that one is your choice. If you want to support, fine. If you don't want to support, too, you can click on not right now below. Now you can review all your details that you provided. Yes, as you can see, you have our American bank account here. Yeah? Yes, as I told you, the two factor is compulsory. Now we need to go back to the two factor and set it up. As I told you earlier on, I need to change the number before I receive the OTP. That's the one time verification password for the two factor. So I'll quickly go through that process then we continue
okay now you can try to save this code so that anytime you lose your number you can still get access to your stripe account so you have saved it okay now the two-factor authentication is set you can click on continue yeah continue so we've done all this already so let me quickly go through that yes now the review again click go through that see the, the two factor is now set i click on submit and as you can see our account is no more in the test mode you see it has been disabled it's no more in the test mode it means our account is live but we are not done we have a couple of things we have to finish before our account will be fully activated no. so let's go ahead and do that say you need to, you need to fill in our tax w8 tax information so click on it click on it hmm. click on no yeah click on no now we need to sign we are going to sign online so we select all these options make sure all of them are checked yes and you click on continue in doc sign continue in doc sign to open a new tab let's hold on a bit yes to open in doc sign now pay attention here local sign will give you a pop-up message to allow or block your location please don't allow i repeat don't allow block when you allow your account might be deactivated later don't allow block so when you block it click on continue now we filled all these informations already yes all the information already you don't need to fill anything here again you don't need to fill anything here again we've done all that already so you just have to what choose the, uh certainly that i have i'm certain that i have capacity to sign whatever whatever then your name after you enter your legal name you can go through all this if you want you can go through all that if you want yeah click on the arrow yeah this way we are going to sign so you can sign with the mouse pointer sign <laughs> my, my signature yes now we are done signing so you can scroll down scroll down and click on finish and click on finish it will take you back to the home page yes take you back to the home page mm -hmm. yeah, i confirm blah 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 w -H, yes then you submit as you can see yeah uh, it said it has been accepted see the green it's accepted yes now you can refresh this page refresh this page and refresh it the, the tax information will, will leave yes that now you have been accepted so you're going to go to home voila your account is now active you see our account is now active now we can use our account to receive payment mm -hmm. now we can use our account to receive payment worldwide we can use their api for development to accept card payment and bank payment this is the end of the tutorial i hope this was helpful to you please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell see you next time